Okay, so here we have the incident that was created uh, using our add-on. Let's check how these fields are populated. So the category and the subcategory are fixed values, just like the context type. Uh, let me jump into uh, this system and check the configuration. Here you can have uh, multiple configurations. Uh, naturally, we support a lot of different target systems. This is the ServiceNow interface that I've uh, just used. So let's jump into the system configuration node. Here you can specify either uh, fixed values in this field or if it's longer than uh, the value that can fit here, then you can use a standard text which is transaction SO10. So let's check what is here. You can see the category is fixed, software, subcategories, SAP, and contact type is sent from SAP. So that's why these fields are populated like this. We have the business service and the configuration items. These can, for instance, depend on the system from which the ticket is submitted. And for that, we have a, a solution, of course. For each configuration, you can assign any number of SAP systems, and for SAP systems, you can assign custom field values. So I select this system, and there you can see that the business service will have this value, and the configuration item, um, configuration item will have this one. So these are the ServiceNow internal IDs, uh, the sys IDs, um, and of course, if I change to another system, then uh, it will have different values here. So based on the system from which you submit the ticket, you will have a different configuration item here.